Hello and welcome to Centennial Park South area. Glad to see everybody here today. My name is Raul DeLarme, Director of the Howard County Department of Recreation and Parks. Thank you for joining us this morning for this ribbon cutting ceremony. I would now like to welcome our County Executive, Dr. Calvin Ball, to the podium to say a few words. Thank you so much, Raul. Good morning and thank you all for joining us on this beautiful sunny day in Centennial Park. Now, Centennial Park is Howard County's largest park. There's nothing and it's there. one of the places where Columbia and Ellicott there. City come together. It is a meeting and recreation spot for our entire community and brings together residents and visitors of all ages and abilities. So it's important to make sure that we keep facilities like this in top condition because they are part of what makes Howard County the very best place to live, work, play, and grow for all. As we've seen, especially during the pandemic, more and more of our residents and visitors are spending more time outdoors and utilizing what our parks have to offer. Today, we are celebrating the work that has been underway since October to improve Centennial Park South and make the park more accessible for all. These improvements widen the pathways to improve ADA accessibility and to allow for emergency vehicles to access all areas of the park. And a new ADA parking facility and accessible parking spots at the bottom of the hill where we are today. And our residents will notice that we've created a connection between the pathways and the new accessible parking facility, the boat ramp, restrooms, and the amphitheater. Replace the decking and railings around the boat rental area installed new retaining walls along the pathway, and added a stormwater management microbioretention facility to improve water quality. And we're not quite done yet. This fall, we'll be installing a bicycle pump and tool rack for cyclists near the entrance to the boat rental facility and landscaping newly improved areas. These many renovations are critical for our treasured park improving access to visitors of all ages and abilities so that everyone can truly enjoy all that our park has to offer for years to come. But we're not done. Other improvements in Centennial are underway, including the planning of a sensory trail to wrap around the new sensory friendly plate experience located in Centennial Park North that opened last November and renovations to the west area fields which includes new artificial baseball fields a multi-purpose field new lighting and parking pathways and stormwater improvements our commitment to the infrastructure of our recreation and park system and public facilities reaches far beyond centennial in our current year budget thanks to the county council we included nearly $20 million for Recreation and Parks projects, the single largest investment in Howard County in approximately eight years. This funding will support everything from construction of parking, pathways, a skate park, basketball courts, and pickleball courts at Blandair Regional Parks to improvements to the equestrian ring at Schoolie Mill Park. We will also be building a new grandstand at Troy Regional Park in Elkridge. And of course, we're securing even more open space throughout the acquisition of our Camp Ilchester property in Ellicott City. And all of these spaces, just like Centennial, are cherished and revered by our community. Our parks are part of what makes us special and what makes this a great place to call home. I wanna thank all of our Howard County residents for their support as we completed this project and everyone in our Recreation and Parks Department for all they do to maintain these amazing spaces. Thank you all. Thank you, County Executive Ball, for your continued support. Our next speaker represents County Council District 1. Please welcome Councilwoman Liz Walton. 
Good morning. If our schools feed our minds, then our public spaces, our parks nourish our souls for everyone, every walk of life, every role of life. What a legacy this investment and others that we make in our green space lead to the next generation, to those who come behind us. Uh, when I was in high school at Mount Hebron, this is where I would have to come to make sure I can meet the time trials to qualify for soccer teams in the fall and lacrosse teams in the, uh, in the spring. And I hope, um, just like I bring my kids now to paddle, for, to paddle boat, that in the future, I'll be here with my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren in beautiful places like this, like Camp Bilchester, like Pocket Parks in Old Ellicott City. It is Raul Delerme, Calvin Ball, and the Department of Recreation and Parks who finds these places, preserves these places, and makes them even better. Thank you. Thank you, Liz, for all your support. Our next speaker is one of our newest Recreation and Parks Advisory Board members and park advocate. Please welcome Marion Fessel. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here today to celebrate the full access of the new improvements that have been made to Centennial Park. As a user, I am thrilled to be able to see that I've got great parking now, full access to the boating and concession areas in a very aesthetically pleasing area. I look forward to the inclusion of people with disabilities and those of all ages to be able to recreate here in Howard County. It's really a blessing to be able to have such unique and talented skills and our recreation and park staff to be able to ensure full inclusion of not only today, but in the future, as you heard today from, from the County Executive Ball. I look forward to being a part of that project. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marion. It's, it's great to have you on our board. Before we cut the ribbon, I'd like to thank if you, uh, the following contractors who built this project. HCI Contractors. If you're here, raise your hand, please. Hayes Contracting. Best Fence. And Jim Jett with Whitman Recart and Associates. Uh, Jim was our resident inspector who oversaw all the construction on this project. Thanks, Jim. I also want to thank our staff who were very instrumental from the beginning and to the end of this project. Bob Lins. Paul Walski, who designed this project. Good job, Paul. Thanks for all your help. The Capital and Heritage Construction Division, Centennial Park staff, our marketing team, the Department of Public Works, Bureau of Facilities, and Bureau of Special Projects. Uh, we couldn't have done this project without you, and I thank you. As the county executive mentioned, we are very excited with all the improvements that we have accomplished to date and the improvements that are yet to come here at Centennial Park. While the improvements are aesthetically pleasing, we were focused on the accessibility and public safety of all visitors. The county and our department have been committed to making these necessary improvements in our parks and to provide better access for all people, and I believe we've done that with this project. This ends this part of the program, and I wanna thank everyone for attending this morning and who are watching online. Now it's time to cut the ribbon to officially open this wonderful renovation project. Thank you. All right, everybody. Three, two, one. Right. Perseverance. 